I'm going to do a video today about the Do It Mold egg sinker. It's a EG 9 A. Um, I just used this on a trip in Hawaii I took, caught some sharks. These are sliding egg sinkers you guys are familiar with. Use them from all different applications of fishing. I use them a lot when I'm bank fishing from the shore for catfish, um, trout, and uh, just recently, like I said, some sharks. So just wanted to show a quick video on this particular mold. Um, so if anybody out there is wanting to pick one up, uh, we'll pour a few and show you how it, how it works. With this, you need a pull pin, of course, that creates the hole where your line goes through. Um, let's get to work, get our glasses, got some gloves, and uh, we got the ventilation today. Garage door's wide open, it's a little bit breezy outside, so we should be good there. Um, let's get to work. Thanks for coming along, hope you enjoy. Uh, when you're first initially heating up your lead, sometimes you'll get a drip off the spout here. And actually sometimes it'll be a drizzle, so I like to put something underneath to catch that if you do have some drips. When I first start, um, I always turn it up to about number 10 here on the dial. And then once I get my lead to where I want it, I'll kick, kick it down to number 4 or number 5. It seems to work pretty good for what I'm doing, anything under 3 ounces. Doing. You want to heat your mold, preheat your molds, and also some guys like to put a candle to their molds and smoke them, but this one I haven't done. I don't really, really like doing that anymore, but uh, some molds you kind of need to do that to get the lead to flow where you need it to be in all the nooks and crannies. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of lead in there. We'll fill it till the sprue you can see on top. You notice I didn't use the pull pin. Right now we're just working on getting the mold heated up. So I'm going to flip it to the other side. We'll put some lead in there as well. I like this pot because you can really have some good uh, control there with that trigger to release it. A little bit of lead escaped. That's because we don't have the pull pin in. We're just going to let that sit for a minute. And... Uh, Kind of warm up that aluminum on the mold. So on the pin that you put through the mold, some guys will take a little bit of oil on a piece of rag. You don't need much, just a little bit. Every few pours, you can put a little oil on that. Kind of help it release. Okay, so now we got that lead. We're gonna pull that. The mold should be good enough for who it's for. We will put that excess lead back in the pot. You can do it now or later, doesn't really matter. So now, we're ready to roll. Make sure you hear a good snap. Make sure it's in the slot all the way through to the end. And we'll go from there. Get a little bit of lead hanging off the sprue again, so I'm gonna put a little there. Okay, now we'll just let that sit for a second here. What I like to do is put on my welding gloves, at least on one hand. Just open that up. I just like to grab it out of there. Some guys will pull it just out of the form. But I like to do these one at a time. Go from smallest to largest. As you can see, I've got some uh, trays with the little different weight sizes in them. I like to keep them organized while I'm going. So there, that just pulls off there. That one pulls off there, put it where it goes. Pulls off there, put it where it goes. Put it where it goes. Now we're done. And we're organized. And that helps a lot later to be organized. So let's pour a couple more here. Same size, snap it down. Now a lot of guys will um, buy nice, good, clean lead for what they're doing. 
I personally just go up to the salvage yard where I'm at and I just buy, sometimes you get lucky and you find them already put in ingots. The people who sell it to the salvage yard will do that for you sometimes. So I've got a pretty good relationship rapport with the guys up where I buy mine. And they'll just let me go out in the pile and pick, pick through the stuff. And usually I can get some pretty good stuff. Lead. It's not, you know, the best lead, but you don't need the best lead for this kind of work. You don't need to pay a primo price. So just find it where you can. Um, I used to find a lot of lead lines when we dig up water lines in my trade and uh, I'd always save the lead or you can go to the tire shop get some lead that way but uh, just got to be careful sometimes they're changing things now they're going away from lead everywhere we turn but it's very easy to find very easy to find and you can get it cheap next to nothing okay so we'll pull this one again open it up pop it up there and we'll just pull up pull them off okay now I'm going to cut the sprues off these are just some side cut off pliers you can just with these kind of sinkers you can use pretty much use any kind of pliers basically take that right next to the weight and just squeeze it in your hand and you're ended up with a perfectly good sinker to go catch your next trophy. So let's get the sprues cut off of the, these ones we've done. And we will call it a day. But anyways, that's a good three ounce one right there. And, uh, that's just good for going ocean fishing, in my opinion. Getting right out there. Big catfish. It's good times. Remember in high school, my buddy taught me how to catch trout with a salmon egg. We'd just put that behind us, behind a uh, swivel, about three feet a liter, maybe some three pound liter. Put a little salmon egg hook on that baby. And just cast it out as far as we could and boy those brook trout would take it you'd just watch your line get taut set the hook and reel them in so got good memories of that little bugger there and i used to go buy those you know a couple bucks a pack but the time you go fishing as much as i did back then we'd go through them or we'd lose them so it seemed like every time i wanted to go fishing i'd have to buy another bag and uh so these molds are generally about 30 35 bucks like I say, you're getting the lead for next to nothing. So it doesn't take you much to pay one of these off. Um, over in Hawaii, these things were selling right here for a buck and a quarter. So you make, make 30 of those pretty quick and it's all paid off and you're good to go. So that is the do it egg mold. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I like this mold because there's lots of different sizes and you don't have to pour them all at once. If you're just looking at a specific size, take your time and just pour them one at a time, the size you want. It's kind of fun getting ready for the season. For instance, I'm bass fishing here pretty quick. We're going to get the boat out. I'm going to pour a bunch in these smaller ones. Well, thanks for coming along with me today in the shop. Um, hope that was helpful to some and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope your drinks are cold, your lines are tight, and I hope you're doing what you love and loving what you do. Catch you later. Thanks again.